The U.S. was unprepared for the pandemic and even less prepared for a mental health, cr health crisis that's now afflicting half of all Americans. That's what former Congressman Patrick Kennedy says. And advocates believe cost is one of the biggest concerns in making sure everyone has access to treatment. In this Working on Your Bill, our brief season looks into resources that can help. The COVID crisis is a mental health crisis, says the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Nearly half of all Americans report depression. A quarter of young adults say they've had thoughts of suicide. Drug overdoses are on the rise in 40 states and law enforcement continues to sound the alarm about the rise in domestic violence. In light of this, many health insurance companies are waiving co-pays for mental health treatment during the pandemic. We're seeing former Congressman payers, Patrick uh, Kennedy, a leading advocate for reform says insurers are finally recognizing that poor mental health is increasingly linked to other illnesses such as diabetes and heart disease. It's a good investment in overall health to invest in mental health and thankfully the numbers are in and insurance companies and employers and everybody in this space is realizing that it's uh, penny wise pound foolish to um, block people's access to mental health um, if anything should be done, we ought to be encouraging people to seek out mental health uh, care. But what happens if you don't have health insurance or can't afford to pay for medications or therapy? A group called the Mental Health Leadership Coalition is pushing for a federal overhaul. But in the meantime, they say it's important to know there are a lot of resources online. And if you can't access those, your local health department is a good starting point. There are also uh, federally qualified community health centers that take people without regard to pay. We have uh, certified behavioral health centers now increasingly uh, that are available in many communities that take people who don't have resources to pay. So there's usually something out there. You may have to wait a little bit for it, but uh, but it's there and people should not be shy about trying to access it if they can. We will post links to some groups on our website that can help if you or a loved one needs assistance. We'll also put up some details about the Mental Health Leadership coalition and what they're asking the Biden administration to do to fix what they call our broken system. Working for you, Bree Season, CBS 6 News.